Hi, so we're still here at the Emerald Cup, and now we have MPC competitor Jamie Collins joining us. Jamie, how are you? I'm awesome. Having tons of fun. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So what brings you here to the Emerald Cup this year? Actually, I've, I've competed here before, but this is actually my second year, and I'm working at a Warhammer booth. Just having fun, enjoying seeing everyone here, and just good time. That's great. So how does it compare being here for fun this year versus when you competed before? Um, it's it's kind of a love-hate relationship. I love being on stage, I, and I, I love you know meeting with people, having a new physique, seeing how I can do. Um, but I also I love eating too. It's nice. <laughs> it's like you know, I still see my friends, I still see the competitors. But at the end of the day, like I'm eating food and everything, and you know it's I love both of it. It's both fun. Well, you don't look like you've been eating too much. You look great. Uh, but we haven't seen you on stage in a while. When was your last show? Uh, my last show was July of last year. I did the USA's, um, got fifth, and actually about, that'll be my next show as well. So I got about 13 weeks off my next one. So I'm raining in a little bit, starting to cut out the pizza and the cheeseburgers. <laughs> so just, I wish I keep a little bit tight coming into it. So taking a year in between shows, you've had some time to probably make changes in your physique. What have you been working on the most? Um, absolutely. So for my last show, some of the feedback I got, um, they felt I was holding a little bit of water, maybe a little th too thick in the waist, um, bring the shoulders down a little bit, soften the abs. Um, I, I love my abs, but you know, I, if that's what it takes, I'll, I'll do it. Um, bring up the legs a little bit, work on the booty as always. You know, gotta have that booty for bikini. So. They told you to work on the booty? No way. It's, it's already perfect. Can, can we see it? This is like the booty girl. I love it. Everyone loves it. <laughs> but they said soften the shoulders. I love your delts. Doesn't she have good shoulders? So I just think your upper body, you know, you've probably been told before you could go either way. You could do figure if you wanted to. You have such a great V taper. What What are your thoughts on that? Um, so I, I have considered figure for like Oregon, Washington level. I could probably do okay. Um, national level, I'm, so I'm 5'7". So right now I'm sitting about 150. I should come about 137 off season. So I've been told I'd have to come in about this size. And I struggle to keep it on this weight as it is. And for me, I know I can be really competitive in bikini and I don't want it to enter in a sport where I can't be more dominant and potentially have that potential. So for me being 5'7", I've seen the girls backstage and my fair class and they're just, they're a little bit bigger than I think what my body's capable of doing so I mean maybe something in the future but as of right now I'm my body's doing pretty good for bikini I'm still competitive yeah you look great for a bikini I mean you've got the booty for it for <laughs> sure so going into USA's you said you got about 13 weeks now 13 weeks so yeah I usually diet about 10 or 8 weeks I try to like you know like kind of rein it in um, I'm not a big fan of cardio so if I have to you know start cleaning it up so I can eliminate a little cardio I'm, I'm all for that <laughs> So you're not too much into cardio. What are your main focuses as far as training? What do you work on the most? Um, right now I do legs three times a week. So I space it up. I do, you know, I do the whole uh, the booty work twice a week, quads okay. once a week, um, upper body once a week, nothing too bad, abs about three times. So I, for me, for my body type, lifting heavy really works for me. Um, obviously, you know, watch the upper body, not trying to get too big, just trying to maintain, keep it you know, nice and tight, slightly sculpted, but just lift heavy as I can. It, it works for me and that helps me grow. So you're doing legs three times a week. I love that. Can you break it down for us a little bit? Are the workouts different? Um, the workouts are usually different. So uh, Tuesday I do like light glutes and hammies, just you know like um, lower weights, higher reps. Uh, Thursday my trainer tries to kill me. You know, <laughs> it's you know it's this this this. It's about a good hour long session. Um, really big up the glutes. So like one session would be like you know like. Um, you know, hammies, we'll do glutes and kind of go back and forth. There's a lot of um, body movements, we use machines, we use free weights, just a little bit of everything. Some band work, just really changing it up, always keeping my body guessing. So it's been, I'm happy with the changes. It's definitely working, looks good. Um, so since you've been at the national level doing bikini, what advice would you have for a girl who's just getting into the sport? Um, I always say um, some girls kind of depends on genetics. So I kind of came into sport not really having kind of a sport background. So I know the girls that are you know successful that do have a sport background. Then all these girls are coming in brand new, never done something like don't expect something overnight. This is now my fifth year competing, and people are like I want to look like you. I'm like, look at my past pictures. I didn't look like that. You know, I mean, it's taking time, it's taking dedication. You know, just repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, especially when we go national, it's like take a good solid year, have fun, do some amateur shows, and you know, I would say like take one of your pictures and compare it with a national level girl and put them side by side. And if you're relatively close, you know, go and have fun. It's a whole new experience. Uh, my first national show, I wasn't quite ready. I I got fifth. I was blessed, and but I learned I learned so much from it. And I was like, I thought I was ready, but that was just a whole new level but I didn't know what to expect because 
I was like, I was in Oregon, Washington, and no lot, but um, it actually motivated me and helped me more. And I saw what I had to achieve, and I kind of knew what to do because mm -hmm. I don't know, it just worked. So going to USA last year, you said you felt kind of unprepared and learned a lot. What was like something that surprised you, or you didn't expect there? Actually, no. Uh, I went three years ago to USA, oh, okay. and then I did uh, nationals in Florida, and then oh, last sure. year, last year I went to USA. So this will be my third year doing the USA oh. show. So this most recent one, um, I felt like I was really prepared. I thought it was the best I've looked. I really changed up a lot from my last national show. I got some kind of negative feedback, really changed it up. Um, but this last show, either the judges kind of loved my look or kind of wasn't the biggest fan of it. But I got some really no positive feedback. Um, and I've, I've made some tweaks, so we will we'll see how it goes. Well, we love your physique, and we're rooting for you. So good luck in your prep. I know it's just getting rolling, so we're definitely going to be looking for updates from you and rooting for you in Vegas. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you. So I'm Danielle with HD Physiques, and we'll be back soon. Bye.